Hello Nevada Virtual Academy. Are you ready for another math problem? Excuse me, I didn't hear that. Are you ready? <laughs> well, you better be ready, okay? Proficiency exam, SAT, ACT. David draws a line that is 13 units long. If negative 4, 1, the point with the coordinate is negative 4 and 1, is one end point of the line, which of the following could be the other end point, okay? And how should we solve this problem? Well, do you guys remember from your algebra and geometry classes that the distance between two points, let's say M and N, right, will be given to you by the square root of X of M minus X of N squared to which you will add the y of m minus y of n, everything squared, okay? Now this may look like some kind of foreign uh, language to um, some of you. I hope you remember this. Maybe the formula was not quite looking like this, or maybe you have x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. But what is this thing uh, actually referring at? You guys remember the coordinate system, right? Let's see the point negative 4 and 1. Okay. And they have the two, uh, the two axes here, right? That's my x, that's my y. And if I will represent my first point, you know, negative 4, let's say negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 on the other axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it really doesn't matter, you know what scale you're using here, I have 1, right, 1 is right there, and your first point is given to you as being this one, let's use a different color, that's my first point, let's call it M, okay, now the other point N should be in such, um, you know, in such location, um, and, and let's, I don't know, let's use one of the coordinates that are given here, just for the heck of this problem, I don't know, I would choose the 5 and 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, well, let's use 3 and 7, okay, because that will, uh, 3 and 7, 3, 1, 2, 3, on the y axis, on the x axis, and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that point will be located here, right? And we said that point is n. Obviously, the distance between these two points is this segment here, okay? M n. So n has what coordinates? We said is three and seven. M was what was having the coordinates negative 4 and 1, okay? And, uh, you know, when I'm giving you, the, I give you the distance formula, you guys have to understand that, you know, this is a right triangle, okay? This here, right, and if I can use a point, I don't know, let's use the point P for uh, where these two lines are intersecting here, the line that I use um, to help me find where each one of these points is. Triangle M and P is a right triangle. And M N is nothing else but the hypotenuse of that triangle, right? This is the you know distance M N if you want. And in a right triangle by applying Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse squared, right, is always equal to one, I mean the sum of the square of the other side, but this side here, M N P is actually equal to one. Well, NP is the y's, right? The y um, change, which is the y of N minus the y of P. MP side, MP side in your triangle, M and P, is actually the change in your x, right? Remember the run from the algebra, from, you know, finding the slope. First one was the, the, the rise, the other, one, the other one is the run, which will be the difference between x of but x of n right because this three here is your x of n x of n 
hold on, this NP is not the X of N and X of P, it's the X of N and, X and Y of M, right? And this one is the X, the X of N and the X of M, right? So your two sides, and you know, if you want to write them backwards the way we use here in our formula, it's still going to work because when you square them, the negative sign, because you know, you see I can write this one as what? Minus Y of M minus Y of N. But when I'm squ squaring it, that, that negative sign disappears. And that's how I'm finding this distance, right? Now, you have to go back and plug in everything that you know. And I know what? I know that this segment here is how many units long? 13 units long. So D M N, D sub M N, that's 13 units long. And everything else should be substituted, right? And uh, what else I know? I know that this x and y are x and y of either one of the points. You may choose which one you want to you want to you want to have it. You may use um, you know the x y. You can use this negative four and one as point m as we use it here, or point n. It really doesn't matter. And you will go ahead with the substitution here, right? So let's do that. Substitution thirteen should equal the other side. But how about squaring everything? I'm just trying to remove that, um, that square root, that radical, right? So it'll be 13 squared equals xm minus xn squared, right? Plus ym minus yn, everything squared, all right? 13 squared. 13 squared is 169. That should equal x of m. We said we're going to use negative 4 minus x of n, everything squared, plus the other one is 1. y of m, which is 1, minus y of n, which we have to find. Everything squared. All right. So now I'm looking for possibilities in here such that when I'm squaring these differences, they will add up to 169, right? And you have five options. And you have to go one step at a time and see which one of these pairs will, will uh, verify, right? Let's use the first one, A. If that number, uh, if that those coordinates will be you know, we know that first one is x, second one is y. x is 1, y is 13. What do we have here? We have negative 4 minus 1, everything squared, plus 1 minus 13, everything squared. Well, minus 1 minus, minus 4 minus 1 is 5 squared, I mean negative 5 squared would be 25. 1 minus 13 is going to be negative 12, squared will be 144. Well, 25 plus 144 is exactly 169. And it looks like we're done, right? This is the answer here. 1 and 13. That's the point I'm looking for. This is the answer. And I should move on. But if you're not confident, you can try any one of the others or all of them and check if you got it right. But it seems to me that this is the answer. Even if you're using this coordinates as your... Um, um, you know, M's coordinates, you will have here what? If this is the first one, X equal 1, and the other one, um, X of N will be negative 4, we have 1 minus minus 4 is going to be 1 plus 4, which is 5, squared 25. Uh, this is the Y of your M if you want, subtract the other one, the other, the Y of your N will be 13 minus 1, 12 squared uh, 144, 25 plus 144 is 169, which is your 13 squared, right? And you are good. All right, well, this is just one way to solve the problem. Um, I, you know, did a short, a quick review for you guys in, uh, you know, here, right? Just to show you how that distance formula uh, came along and uh, how actually this refers to the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, this is it. Thank you.